Jesus, look at that creepy ass drawing. It's proper haunting. Oh, he's in the house. He's in the friggin' house. We've got eight seconds. Five, four. Hey everybody, it's Roach, and this is Leany Boo. You can see a bunch of weird crap happening on the screen. There's like, the monster that's gonna be after us is flashing on the screen every now and then. We're getting little hints of him already. This is, apparently, something to do with the war. We were involved in a war, and this monster doesn't like that we're alive, something. I don't, I don't really know, if I'm honest. This is just a demo. Now, if this goes well, and I enjoy it, I might do a playthrough of the, of the full game. Let's check it out. You need to use headphones to play. Sound is your weapon. So we have two weapons, and apparently it is sound and mindfulness or something. Good luck. I missed the second instruction, something to do with E. It's probably to do... Why is there a timer? How to play. The main task is to survive as long as possible. You need to listen carefully to where the monster runs and try to close the window in a timely manner so that it cannot climb into the house. To close the window, you need to hold down the E button. This demo is impossible to pass. Click this button if you are ready to start the game. I am not ready. I can proudly say that. Okay, we are, we are starting though. What's that? <laughs> oh my god, that was so quick. Our time was 12 seconds. Keep the window closed for as long as possible. I press and hold E, damn it. Let's try again. Oh yeah, okay. It's impossible to survive, is it? Oh no. Okay. Do I need to keep hold of it? Hello? Oh shoot, there's a window here. Okay, close this door. I can't close it. I don't like it. Where's my flashlight? Oh, no! Run! <laughs> okay, we survived 54 seconds. What am I meant to do? I need... I need... I need a flashlight. No, you don't. Why did I spin around? Okay, you gotta hold until he runs off. That's, I think that's the deal. Why is he beeping? I don't think we can run either. It's a fox. It looks like a fox. Why is there a fox after us? Oh, there's an upstairs. Let's say, I need to be paying attention. All right, we're dead. He's going to be downstairs somewhere, isn't he? Oh, God, there's a... Oh, I hear him in there. Ah, no! <laughs> Jesus Christ.
keep the window closed for as long as possible. That's what I'm trying to do. Where did he go? I can't run. Oh, no. Look at him. He's staring at us. No. No, 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 no. What happens if I keep staring at him? <laughs> oh, okay, so this is different. So, I quickly went away, downloaded the full game. I have to inspect the office, because that was a bit repetitive. It was cool, though. I liked it. That's why I was happy to go away. What? No! No! I was inspecting! I thought I could open that drawer. Why is it so... What's that say? Zero. Zero. Some language. Can we crouch? Can I run now, please? Oh, for cheat. I'm not allowed to run. Inspect the office. Okay, I can't... I can't open that. Need to interact. What did I just interact with? Oh, this door. Okay. But, you're not telling me what I can interact with, buddy. What's all this writing? The torch, the flashlight makes it really hard to read. Right, it's going to tell me every time I can interact with something. That's what it looks like, anyway. Can I re-close doors? No, I can't. That's upsetting. Hello! Where are these people? Uh, why can't I run? I'm inspecting, damn it. Find the noise source. Is it gonna be in here? Oh, Jesus Christ. Is he gonna catch us straight away? I'd be hiding under the desk. Ah! Was that it? Okay, now we'll go some other kind of intro. M5, a letter thing. I think that was a letter. We received information that shortly before his disappearance, Subject 88 visited his relatives in the vicinity of New Garage. That thing has relatives? Subject 88 left a certain envelope in the house, the contents of which are still considered unknown. In addition, we learned that the attacker who committed the brutal murder of a security guard in the archive last week stole data about this house. Probably the attacker is also looking for this envelope. Oh. How to play? Oh. Your task to listen carefully. The house monster is running. Which part of the house the monster is running to? So you can close the window in time. To close the window, hold down E. We know this. We we know this. Bro. Ah! We got stuck on something. Get away. Why can't we run? He's not running. Come on, dude. Run away. There you go. What? What happened? It just crashed on me. Right, I gotta continue. For oh, goodness sake. How can I be expected to get to these windows fast? I can't run. 
Dude, go away. You're not wanted. Kind of saw the glow of his eyes then. That was scary. What's that noise? What's he doing now? Sheep shifting. Why can't I open that door? Dude, come on. Let us run. He has an advantage. It's not fair. You creepy little shit. Go away. Dude, just... He's, he's, he wants us to let go of the window. But we're not going to do that. We are not. How are we going to know when he goes upstairs? Right, did that... I think that noise was him breaking the sensor or something. So now I won't make a beep when he opens a window. Dude. I can see you're horrible. Look at that. Look at that face. There's some kind of timer. On um on a cupboard in the middle of the room. I haven't had a chance to inspect it because we have to keep closing this bloody window. How do we know if he's gone upstairs? Oh Christ, he's upstairs. Oh no, got goosebumps. Oh, we got him. We still got him. That's nice. We had no indication whether he was coming upstairs or not. Okay, so there's a timer up here too. It's counting down. And it's like it's counting down the night. This is, again, it's like one of the... It's like Boogeyman and Five Nights at Freddy. Except... You move around. Okay, so the sound of his feet's different. Got ya. Oh no. What's he doing? What's this here? That's like a book. Has he gone downstairs? Oh shoot! Oh, we got it. We got it, we just got it. I think that weird whooshing noise is him going downstairs or upstairs. I wish it was more obvious. I also wish we could run. Why can't we run? If something was trying to break into my house, that was a weird fox, like a demon fox. It sure as hell wouldn't be walking. Dude. I hate your face. Look at him twisting his head as he's looking at us. I think we have like 60 seconds. 55. Okay, I think he's gone upstairs now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where are you at? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Quick. Where'd he go? He opened one of them. He opened a window. But I know where he is. We hear him up here. <gasps> it's here. Oh, he's in the corner. Interact with it. Interact with it. Oh, he's in the house. He's in the friggin' house. We've got eight seconds. Five... Four, three, two, one! Ah! No! No! There's one more second! According to our data, the son and father of Subject 88 live in this house. The father is currently away. As everyone knows, 
Representatives of the Brevis Homo race have a small stature, thanks to which the son of Subject 88 managed to leave without leaving any traces. After a search of the house, the same prints were found as in the infamous archive. Apparently it was the same killer. After analyzing the phone calls, we found out that a certain citizen living in the Artacticon district called this house the other day, before our arrival. It was clear from the style of communication that they knew each other. They were talking about the same envelope that Subject 88 left. At the end of the conversation, they agreed to meet. Oh, was somewhere else. Find apartment number 17. Wait, so did we make it then? That's... Why are we so short? Why are the bars? Can we run now? No, we cannot. Maybe it's an upgrade. Something I have to earn. Why are we so short? Okay, we've got to go upstairs. We can't jump either. I never understand in games when you're not allowed to jump or run. I'm sure there's a reason. Hello? Papa? I think we're looking for our papa. Check one, two, three. Buddy, can you hear me? I hope so. I apologize for not being able to meet you in person. I have my own reasons for this. Okay. I really hope you have the envelope. What envelope? Your father risked everything to prevent this envelope from falling into the hands of the Collectionarium. Or even worse, into the hands of the creature that is now on your tail. Don't worry. He won't be able to get into this apartment. I've taken care of that. The that doesn't sound true. The important thing to remember is one thing. Do not open the envelope in any case. This can lead to sad consequences, not only for you, but also for everyone around you. Doesn't sound true. We have too little time. I have no right to detain you. Take this walkie-talkie. I'll help you from time to time. Okay. Thanks. What is this? You that... can find a train ticket in the next room. It will take you to the right place. When you arrive at your destination, I'll contact you again. Take train ticket from the table that's a table that's the table right is there another table there's no table guys where's the train ticket Jesus, look at that creepy ass drawing. It's proper haunting someone. There's a tape just about to play, is there? What does this stuff say? Oh, I can't read it. Good something. I don't know. Press E to interact. Oh no, were we. Was I meant to do that? That was just a sheet of paper. Yesterday we managed to get a more detailed description of the attacker. It turned out that the suspect is of our tactical origin. It sounds incredible, but it corresponds with the description of a creature from an ancient Artacticon legend. It is called Lee Book. All the data on this case was transferred to the collection area because of our incompetence in this matter. Okay, is this like a day two thing? I don't remember ta picking up the bloody train ticket, but now we're, we're here. Your task is to prevent the monster from entering the compartment. Do, to do this, you need to carefully monitor the movement of the monster and close the door in time or exit the compartment in a timely manner. The compartment you will need to enter will be highlighted. To close the door or exit the compartment, you need to press the key that appears on your screen so that they might change. That's horrible. It is extremely important to monitor the movement of the monster because otherwise the key will not appear on your screen. What? Why? Okay. Well, a nice train. It's a timer, so it's like, it's like Boogeyman. You have to survive the night. Can we run now? No, we're a child, I think. 
don't know what any of this writing is. Is it Russian? It looks Russian. Bro. What was that? Oh! <laughs> You're dead. Okay. Fine. I don't want to skip the level. That's stupid. How? What the hell would Nightmare be like? That'd be an, well, an, a nightmare. If you want me to play this game, please let me know down in the comments. We're all out of time for today's episode. If you want me to continue playing it, make sure you let me know, and I will. It's a pretty good game. I'm not going to lie. It is fun. Um, it is a little re repetitive, a tiny bit. I wish I could run. It would be making the game a lot easier. I guess that's the idea. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can find out when I upload new videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.